Woo! Dirt free, ham and eggers. Dirt free. Oh yeah, just went and charged the... <clears throat> what's it called? Discharge Authority? Um, to release the title um, on my place. Uh, what did it work out to be? 262 bucks in fees. On about eight thousand five hundred and something is basically eight thousand seven hundred and something, eight thousand seven hundred and sixty or something like that. Um, <coughs> and uh, yeah, they will be sending the title or deeds, whatever you want to call it, either by registered post within about a week and a half. Um, or maybe even to the bank branch that I was just in 10 minutes ago and uh, I'll go pick it up there and then I'll have the actual title deeds of which I've never seen a copy of title deeds except from one that I don't know whose property it's for if it was old style one for mine or my parents we can't actually work it out um, for the original one that was handed over in the 1860s um, and those of you who are in Australia, you may know who John Batman is. He effectively bought Melbourne off the Aboriginals for a few axes and a bunch of blankets. His signature is on those deeds. And on top of that, uh, so is um, Lieutenant Colonel of the British Army who was basically in control of this colony, which is now a state, uh, and had the right to hand out parcels of land as a result, because it was actually before we were independent and we were still a colony of old mother England. But anyway, I'll see what these title deeds look like when they turn up, and I'll be sure to show them on camera because they're going to, they may very well look as crazy as these other ones that my parents had. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Or they may not. I don't know. But uh, either way... Um, we're finally out of debt. Now, I've still got... After all this has gone through, I'm probably going to have $1,500 or something left in the bank account anyway. Um, and owe my parents six grand, but you know, this is now out of the hands of banks, um, and the major financial shitstorms. Uh, and if there's some colossal bloody financial shake up, well, it won't really matter because I'll have the title in my hands, and they will no longer have any sort of hold over the place to try and prop up their failing asset list or whatever if push comes to shove. This bank that I'm with though, they they are very picky, so trust me, they are not going to have a failing assets list, not not likely. They, um, yeah, they're sort of tight because I dealt with them, um, the proper one, not the rural bank subsidiary, uh, when I bought my other property. And uh, they only loan 80% and there's, you know, this and that. And, yeah, they're, they're pretty tight on their um, <coughs> stuff. In fact, they usually want you to have the same amount of assets already as the money they're borrowing. So suddenly my car jumped about eightfold in value and things like that. Uh, but that's what they had to do just to approve the loan. Uh, for the first property I had. But anyway, there we go, people. The game's over for the banks. And uh, now it's just a couple of wads of cash between me and my father that need sorting out, and we're totally debt-free. And with uh, silver bars in the secret place.